Hey there, Wastelanders, and welcome back to War Games News Radio for the first episode of Fallout Wasteland Warfare Battle Report Breakdowns Season 2. In this first battle, we have a 500 caps matchup between Caesar's Legion and the Brotherhood of Steel, and we're celebrating the start of this new season with a terrain giveaway. These amazing terrain pieces that I used in this video were donated to the channel by LR Tabletop, and if you want to get your hands on some terrain just like this, then leave a comment in the description below. These handcrafted pieces are awesome and the attention to detail is just astounding so if you want to get your hands on one of these and leave a comment down below as usual i also need your help choosing a battle mvp so let me know which unit you think outshone the rest in the comment section and that unit will go on to the finale episode for a very special battle report which we've got planned it's Ave True to Kaisar versus Ad Victorium in this ai smash and grab battle report so let's get into the action on battle report breakdowns season two let's hit it Smash and grab. We have our five Caesars Legionaries going up against four members of the Brotherhood of Steel. The AIBOS here is going to try to get in contact with this fallen paladin marker here in the center of the field and spend a free action to retrieve the fallen brethren's hollow tag. If the AI is able to get in contact with the marker and spend that action to pick up the hollow tag, they're then going to try to boogie off the board back to their deployment edge on the far side there. If they're able to do that within six rounds, that is going to be an AI win, and it's going to be up to us to try to stop them at all costs. We can't interact uh, with the marker like the AI can, so we're just trying to do our best to either defend it uh, and or put the BOS down as quickly as possible. We have some lovely terrain pieces provided by LR Tabletop uh, for this matchup. And if you like these pieces, you can check out Levi's store by checking the description down below or leave a comment in the description of this video to win uh, some terrain courtesy of LR Tabletop. For our forces, we have a Vexillarius with Sniper Rifle and Spear, Centurion with Marksman Carbine and Thermic Lance, Veteran Decanus with a Hunting Revolver, a Spear, and Robotic Bits uh, to increase their perception, make it a little bit easier to hit with that pistol. Uh, then we've got a Legionary Scout with a Combat Rifle. Uh, and lastly, we have a Legion Explorer armed with three Throwing Spears, two Molotov Cocktails, and a Standard Spear. So a bit of a diverse crew. I hummed and hawed about uh, bringing a Praetorian uh, instead Instead of the Explorer, but I wanted to have a unit that has that red movement range and also uh, hoping those Molotov cocktails will be able to deal some damage uh, to either the power armored units uh, or the very, very squishy Brotherhood Scribe or Lancer. Spent an extra 12 caps to give the Vexillarius the Fusilier Leader card. Uh, that gives him the hip shot ability, which gives him an extra bonus green accuracy die when making a rifle shot at short range. And also the Inspiring Aura ability. So once per round, one friendly model may use one of my Vexillarius's special stats during their own activation. So hoping I can share the love as far as the Vexillarius's a better than average shooting skills uh, as well as intelligence to some of my other units. For adversaries, we have a Lancer armed with sniper rifle and eyeglasses to up their perception to eight, a Field Scribe with laser pistol, mentats, and combat armor, giving them a boosted survivability, a Night Patrol blade with sledgehammer, submachine gun, and T-60 power armor, and leading up the squad is a Knight with T-51 power armor, laser rifle, and power fist. They also have the Selfless Leader card, giving everyone within their aura range a plus one intelligence, as well as the Lookout uh, ability, giving him the option to take damage from any friendly model within orange once per game. There are also six searchable loot markers scattered across the board, and I've specifically used ones that involve uh, the possibility of drawing danger cards. Want to make things a little bit challenging in the loot department here, but we've got six rounds and just under 500 caps per side. So like the scenario says, it's smash and grab. Let's get into turn one. We are deployed yellow from our board edge here, and we have our Vexillarius in the center, flanked on the other side by our Decanus, as well as Centurion, and then the Scout and Explorer. On the other side, we've got the Scribe, our two power armor Knight and Knight Patrol blades, and hiding underneath there uh, is the Lancer. Uh, randomize the enemy deployment, and they're uh, pretty much centered on one side, but uh, enemies get to go first, so let's find out who goes. Lo and behold, it's the Scribe who got the move uh, action. With that wildly long movement range of red, they can easily get within range of the searchable and find a uh, computer's test so they can make that next time around, should they choose, or go for the gusto already. Uh, man, oh man, with that um, ejecta marker. 
I'm up first, and I really don't like the look of that scribe uh, with that red movement distance being able to get so close to the objective. So I'm going to try and deal some damage to them right off the bat. Move the Vexillarius once to get myself a bit of a better shot uh, and take a sniper rifle shot at long range at the scribe. Vexillarius hitting on fours through cover. Extra green die for the banner special ability. That's going to miss. Lancer got the reckless move, so went twice and is getting ready to shoot next time around. I'm going to move the Centurion twice to get up the field and hopefully get in the way of that scribe. Night Patrol charges up the field twice. I'm going to move the scout up once and then take a long range shot with a combat rifle through cover onto that Night Patrol. Scout through cover hitting on fives. Green and yellow for combat rifle, extra green for the Vexillarius' banner ability. That's a hit for one armor break. Two damage on three plus one armor, stops both. And the last knight goes for the gusto up to this item here and draws the possibility of a lockpick test. Well, that just leaves it up to me, so I'm going to move the Decanus twice to get up and back up the Centurion because I uh, want to keep those two close together because of the by example ability for the Centurion there. And uh, lastly, I'm gonna move the Explorer up once and see if I can't chuck one of these cocktails. Yep, that'll do it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a Molotov cocktail right about here, hope to light this guy on fire. Molotov hitting on eights. Is gonna take no damage because the Molotov doesn't actually deal any uh, area effect damage, only direct damage if you hit the target, and I was shooting right about here, so I couldn't actually hit. But we have lit him on fire, which is good because flame damage actually goes through power armor, so at the start of that unit's activation, they're going to take one damage, not too shabby. No armor roll on flame damage, so that's gonna go right through. Well, that's it for round one. Uh, we've got our forces scattered around the back line here, moving up as quickly as we can, but the Brotherhood is actually charging in pretty uh, wildly. I think I'm gonna wanna try to take out this scribe as fast as I can. I really hope that they don't activate first or else this might be a really quick battle. But let's get into round two and see what happens. Event for round two, we got low sun. All search skills are at a minus two penalty. Well, the knight activated first, so they got objective, so they're gonna make a play for, well, the objective and make one, two moves to get in contact with the fallen paladin here uh, and spend a free action to pick up the hollow tag. There we go, hollow tag equipped and not so great that they already have the objective at the start of round two, but I'm actually kind of happy that it was the knight rather than the scribe over there. The scribe can move so much further, so much quicker, so I might actually have a chance to uh, tie up and engage this fool right now. So uh, yeah, let's get into my turn and see how I can't foil this plan. Well, I'm tempted right off the bat to move just the Centurion in and tie up the knight, but I think I'm actually going to use my shooting units first and try to put as much of a hurt on that unit before uh, I go ahead with the charge to try to finish the deal. So let's go ahead with the scout. Scout moves once to get within short range with the combat rifle and no obstructions, clear line of sight, and let's take a shot. Scout hitting on sevens, black and yellow for combat rifle, green because of the banner special ability. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Crit miss, that would've been a good shot too. Well, the scribe got the next activation and because of the AI matrix in this scenario, they're going to try to defend uh, the knight here. So they're gonna take a shot with their laser pistol into the Centurion, uh, but they're gonna pop their Mentats first to up their uh, perception from four to six, giving them a much better chance to hit. Scribe hitting on sixes. That's a swing and a miss. Second shot. Ooh, that's gonna hit for two damage. Two damage on four uh, laser armor. Stops it all. Move the Vexillarius once to give them a clear line of sight through to the knight there and take a shot at short range now with the sniper rifle. Vexillarius hitting on sixes with a yellow for the sniper rifle, a green for the banner special ability, and a green because of the fusilier uh, special ability. Here we go. That's gonna do it. Critical hit for two armor break. Two armor break on three plus one armor. Oh yeah, is going to deal uh, one extra damage. Okay, finally got some damage put on uh, the Brotherhood here, but it's the Lancer's turn up next. They got the attack action, so they're gonna take a shot right through, and they're just at long range, so they're gonna get all that extra dice. Lancer with the sniper rifle hitting on eights. That's a hit, uh, and the bottle's going to do an extra armor break. Both uh, points of damage are gonna go through on that. Second shot, same thing, hitting on eights. 
Oh god, that's a hit for two armor break, three damage. Youch, a whopping five damage. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna charge with the Centurion into base to base there. Uh, take a black die for the charge, and then I'm going to attack with my Thermic Lance. Okay, Thermic Lance, uh, three yellow die for the weapon itself, so I'm going to have to re-roll one of these yellows. A uh, black for the charge, and a green for the, by example, special ability, because I'm within uh, my aura range of the um, Decanus there. So, hitting on sixes, uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> That is a critical hit with one extra damage. So because of the Thermic Lance's uh, special ability, it negates the strong armor of the uh, knight there and adds it to its standard armor value. So it would go from three up to a four, but because of the armor break, it's back down to three. So three basic armor on four damage. Stops one, takes three. And that's going to break the T-51B power armor uh, and then some, putting the knight down to four hit points of its normal five. The only adversary left to go is the uh, Knight Patrol, so they're going to charge and get into contact with our Centurion and make an outnumbered attack with their Super Sledge. Okay, this is going to hurt. Super Sledge gives you two yellow and a blue, green for outnumbering, black for the charge, and a black for the uh, super strong bonus hitting on eights. Okay, that hits for three armor break and a broken arm because of the star. So there actually could have been more damage done there. Uh, three armor break uh, means brings my armor down to one. So that's one armor versus three damage. Stop one, take two. That was far from awesome, but could have been worse. Only took two damage, but I did get the broken uh, arm out of the deal. So that's gonna kind of hinder me a little bit, but uh, let's round out the turn here, going with the the Decanus, who's going to make one charge move into our knight, who I forgot is uh, flaming and on fire. So he's taking one point of damage now, uh, and then I'm going to make uh, an attack. And does the knight go out? He does, sadly for us. All right, Decanus with a spear, which gives you a green, yellow, and black. Extra black for the charge and a green for technically outnumbering uh, because these fights are kind of split up a little bit there. So uh, here we go, hitting on sixes. Oh, and I forget I actually get an extra green die for the banner ability as well. So yeah, we're gonna get an extra green die reroll on this. Here we go. That's gonna be a hit for, wow, that could've been a lot better. Uh, that's just gonna increase our damage up to two, but with our extra green die. Okay, so just two damage on three plus one power armor. And he's going to stop it all. Well, I'm tempted to do some throwing spear action, but I can't really afford to hit my own uh, forces in here. So I'm actually just gonna charge with the Explorer once to get in base-to-base -base contact with the Night Patrol and then make a, uh, again, technically outnumbered attack on the uh, night patrol. Okay, same attack as last time, uh, but hitting on fours now, so let's see if we can't get lucky. Yeah, we get lucky with the hit, but unlucky with everything else, dealing no special effect. Uh, that's one base damage because of the spear is a one damage weapon. Um, so the power armor is going to stop that outright. I had a feeling taking one damage weapons was a bit of a mistake, but I wanted to keep the list uh, thematic on Legion, um, especially because they don't get a lot of options in battle mode. So yeah, there's some food for thought. One damage weapons can sometimes really not do anything at all. And that's round two. Uh, we've just got a full on mob scene uh, in the middle. So yeah, we'll see what we can do. Uh, we just need to put that, um, that knight down. Hope that they don't get the first activation next time around. Let's get into round three. Event for round three, we got recruitment beacon. <laughs> This is Jessica. If you need somewhere warm and dry and are willing to work for your keep, come to the source of this beacon. St. Parks welcomes the willing. <coughs> this is Jessica. If you need message repeats, no effect. Well, the Lancer got the first draw, so they're going to try to finish off the scout here with the sniper rifle hitting on eights. So not, not looking good. Yep, that's, uh, that's gonna do it. No matter what, one damage is gonna go through and that's all that they've got left. So uh, that's going to be their first attack. And with their second action, moved through the fence there uh, to take a shot next time around. Well, it's my turn and I'm gonna take advantage of the Centurion uh, still being alive uh, to make an attack into the, um, the big old T-51 there and try to put that knight down. Okay, Thermic Lance dealing three damage. It also deals three yellow dice, so I'll re-roll one. A green for the by example special rule and a green for the banner special rule. Hitting on sixes. 
first attack is a miss with a quick action. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my second attack. Same thing, hitting on sixes. That's going to hit for three damage. Three damage, one armor break. So that's three damage on two armor. Oh wow, he's gonna take all three. I forgot about the minus two, so I'm actually hitting on fours, but I actually rolled a four anyway, so all good. Uh, and I'm going to use that quick action to prepare. So Scribe activating next, shooting recklessly into the uh, melee combat here. Uh, so going to be aiming at the Decanus, uh, hitting on sevens because of shooting into close combat. That's gonna do it for one armor break, but who does it hit? Uh, we'll go one, two, three, and four. One, so that's the Decanus. So two energy damage on now one energy armor. Takes both. Second shot, same thing, hitting on sevens. Ooh, that's another hit for, uh, well, basically the same shot. And let's see who it hits. Same randomization. Oh, that time it's going to actually hit the Centurion. So it's going to be uh, two energy damage on three energy armor. Stops it all. Well, I'm going to take advantage of my outnumbering situation here and make an attack with the Decanus into the Night Patrol. Decanus with the spear hitting on sixes. That's going to hit and then some uh, extra green die for the banner ability. Okay, so that just deals two damage and two armor break. So that's two damage on one plus one armor. Ah, stops it all, man, oh man. Okay, let's make that attack one more time. Actually, uh, I'm gonna change it up. I'm going to attack with the hunting revolver. So uh, still hitting on, well, six is normally, uh, down to a four because shooting in close combat, but two green die. So uh, hoping that this is going to counteract and be able to deal more damage. Uh, let's see, hitting on fours. Oh, you're kidding. Oh well, risky play, but uh, didn't pay off. This isn't great. Uh, the knight is going to disengage, uh, and I actually can't make any retaliation attacks. Uh, normally, I could make a free attack, a quick uh, action there, but because I'm currently tied up also with the Night Patrol Blade, uh, I can't make that move. And I actually can't even attack using my reaction because uh, I'm also engaged. So any attacks I make have to be with somebody that I'm engaged with. So um, that doesn't leave me with a ton of options. That's only their first move. I'm going to take advantage of the situation and I am going to react uh, and make a quick action move. I normally again would draw an attack here, but because I'm all engaged, it's going to be a free break engagement. So that was a long way of saying uh, the knight moved once and then I uh, moved quick action to chase him down. But the knight's actually going to move again, going for the back of the board now and putting me in a bit of a uh, tough spot objective wise because they are taking the hollow tag with them. Okay, well I really need to put that knight down uh, as fast as I can and uh, the best way I can think to do that is the Vexillarius who uh, has the sniper rifle which is two black range which is actually well within uh, range of shooting uh, there but it is going to be through one piece of cover but I think that's going to be okay uh, because the sniper rifle deals uh, two green die normally hitting on sixes but hitting on fours because of the cover there and I'm actually gonna get an extra green die uh, because of the banner special ability so uh, let's see what we get fours with the sniper rifle Ooh, come on hey that hits uh, that hits for one one extra armor break, so that's going to be three, two damage on three armor. Uh, it was four armor broken down now to uh, three. So, okay, stops both, uh, but let's see if we can't do that again. Ah, come on. Uh, oh wait, forgot about the extra green. Okay, that extra green didn't do anything. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, same thing, uh, no extra green for banner this time around. That's a crit miss. Oh, come on. Night Patrol's up next, and they're going to attack with the Super Sledge. Two yellow and a blue, uh, plus uh, one black for Super Strong, hitting on eight. That misses with the first. Oh, I should have said who I was attacking. Uh, attacking the Explorer. Uh, same thing, uh, hitting on eights. Okay, that time it hits for three, four damage. Ouch, four damage, one armor. Uh, that's all going to go right through. Ouch, that hurt, but I actually could have gone a lot better. Uh, didn't miss that first attack, then uh, would have been a, probably a different situation there. But that's actually going to bring it now to the Explorer's turn. And, and I now need to just really double down and try to get 
um, try to get that knight. Move the explorer up once uh, to get them well within black range of the knight there, and then I'm going to use my last Molotov uh, to it try to ignite him, uh, mainly because uh, if I light him on fire, then no matter what, I'm gonna deal one damage at the start of that model's first activation. Um, next turn, and he only has one hit point left. So uh, I think no matter what, I'm gonna put him down, but uh, let's roll for it here. Molotov hitting on eights. Yep, that's going to do it for one uh, armor break. Uh, so that's going to be one damage on two armor. He stops it, but he is on fire, meaning that at the start of its next activation, that unit's going down. Not bad, something's finally going our way uh, this turn. We're gonna stop that unit dead in its tracks at the beginning of the next round, which is coming up right now. Uh, let's get into round four. Event for round four is... Helios 1. The mirrors at Helios 1 need adjusting or smashing. Anything to stop the daily blinding glare from the sun's reflection this time of year. First range attack for each model uh, makes this turn suffers a minus two penalty. Okay, round four and I'm up first and uh, I'm actually going to not worry uh, about that unit back there for just a hot minute. I'm actually just going to take advantage of being out of combat here with the Centurion to make a charge getting me a whole bunch of extra dice uh, and make an attack in here on this Night Patrol blade. Okay, this is going to be one gnarly hit. So a uh, Thermic Lance dealing three yellow dice, so one reroll there, a green for outnumbering, a green for the banner special ability, and a black for the charge, hitting on fours because of a broken arm. That's an eight down to a four. Okay, adding that one up, not too shabby. We got a four damage through on four Armor, even with our, our extra rerolls there, didn't get uh, any extra armor breaks. So uh, let's see what we get. Stops one, takes three. That cracks open the T60 power armor like a tin can, uh, but it is now going to be uh, that same tin can's uh, attack. Okay, Night Patrol Blade going into the deck and is hoping to rob them of an activation. Uh, hitting on eights with a Super Sledge, two yellow and a blue, uh, plus a black four, super strong. That's a hit for, gosh, a whole bunch of damage. So two armor broken down to one with four damage. Ooh, takes all four. Well, robbed of activation, we are. That's four damage done, and that's all uh, that the Decanists had left, so they are out of the fight. Back to my turn, I'm gonna see if I can't get the Explorer to do some damage into the Lancer uh, using throwing spears. Uh, so let's make two attacks. Explorer with a throwing spear. This is where they kind of shine. Uh, hitting on eights with a thrown weapon, uh, down to six for the first attack because of the Helios one event card, uh, but still pretty good chance to hit uh, just out of range of the banner ability. So hitting on sixes. That'll do it with a quick action. No special effect for the bottle. So that's just going to be unfortunately one damage on two armor. Stops it all. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that same thing again, uh, burning our second throwing spear, but this time hitting on eights. That's a hit for a broken arm. Perfect, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, that's gonna stop our long range Lancer there from doing any more severe damage. Uh, but let's see uh, if he stops that one damage again on two armor. Stops it all. Scribe got the move AI action, so they're gonna take one movement here uh, and then a laser pistol shot into the Explorer. Scribe with the laser pistol hitting on fours. That's a hit, ooh, for three damage. Three damage, no laser armor. Uh, that's gonna make him toast. That's the end of that story. As far as the Explorer goes, uh, we only have two units left uh, and only one of them is left to go for me. Uh, and that is the Vexillarius. Well, Vexillarius just gonna hail Mary it uh, through uh, with some sniper rifle shots. Uh, that's gonna be through cover and plus the Helios one uh, event card. So it's actually gonna be minus four to hit for this first shot. So only hitting on twos, uh, but I get an extra green die for the uh, banner special ability. That's a swing and a miss. Man, this Vexillarius is not pulling their weight. Same thing, but this time hitting on fours. That's more like it. So it's going to be uh, two damage on one armor break takes both. The knight activates next, and by the nature of how fire damage works, they activate, and then they are toast. Well, the Lancer was the last to go, and they got enough movement to get to the hollow tag there and pick it up uh, so they can try to make a break for it next round. Uh, that's going to be the end of round four. Uh, yeah, not looking so great. Uh, I was pretty happy with taking that knight down, but uh, now 
Uh, my numbers are thinned so much that it's going to be pretty hard uh, to stop them from running away. But let's uh, roll out the last couple rounds and see what happens. Okay, start of round five. Let's see what we get for events. We got Runaway Brahmin. A harness-wearing Brahmin hustles across the battlefield. No owner but dragging with it the uh, remnants of a cart, dripping a couple of crates. Add three items, a green and blue, red, green, and blue from the battlefield center. And just because we can, I'm going to add my custom two-headed Runaway Brahmin uh, onto the field after placing some extra items scattered about. Maybe it's Anola May on the run from our good pal Yuri from our Fallout 2D20 campaign uh, in Longmount, go figure. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of that fun little thematic uh, Easter egg, but uh, it's my turn, and I think I don't have much else of a choice but to take some shots long range with the sniper rifle down uh, into our good old lancer there it's the battle of the snipers let's see who comes out on top shooting through cover hitting on fours uh, extra green for banner ability that's a hit for three three damage one armor break it's actually four damage uh, and one armor break because of the star bottle combo on the sniper rifle so there we go uh, we're gonna deal four damage uh, on now two armor because of the plus one minus one. Oh, oh, runs away three damage right through not bad on the first shot second shot no extra reroll this time that's gonna be a five that's gonna miss damn if i had landed that second shot i might have been able to put the lancer down but uh it's uh, now the uh brotherhood's turn to activate well scribe got objective and that's just to protect here so they're gonna take one shot uh into this combat here so they're going to be hitting on sixes with the laser pistol Ooh, that's a hit for one armor break, but who does it hit? One, two, three, four. It hits the Centurion, unfortunately. So that's going to be uh, one, one armor break, two damage on four, three laser armor now. Stops it all for the first attack. Second, same thing, hitting on sixes. That's a miss. Well, Centurion uh, really only has an option to try to put uh, this Lancer down while they have the choice. So uh, I'm going to disengage and move once to about here. Uh, see what we get for this new item. It's a free item. Okay, so first Wasteland deck of the game is Sunset Sarsaparilla. Remove four damage and add one rad damage. But first we have a retaliation attack from the Night Patrol Blade there with a super sledge, uh, extra black for being super strong, hitting on sixes because of the quick attack. Three damage, two armor break. Uh, so armor is down to one. Three damage, one armor. Ooh, takes all three. And that is just enough to take our Centurion out before they even get a chance to use that health, which they really could have used. Leaving the Lancer to move once and twice, crossing the threshold with the hollow tag, ending the smash and grab mission in five rounds. If I could have maybe gotten a couple more of these shots landed with the sniper rifle, then maybe I would have had a better time. Maybe should have replaced one of my shooting units with uh, a Praetorian or something to really get in the mix uh, and deal some more physical damage. So that's what you get when you put spears up against T60 and T51, unfortunately, a Legion loss. A huge thanks again to LR Tabletop for these awesome terrain fence pieces here. Absolutely loving using these on the tabletop. Highly recommend you go and check them out if you want some awesome custom handmade terrain to bring into your Fallout Wasteland Warfare or any tabletop games. I'm really loving them. Uh, Levi from LR Tabletop does an awesome job with these pieces and I can't thank him enough for sending them our way. So go check out LR Tabletop and tell them WGNR sent you. It was touch and go right up until the end of that fifth round, but unfortunately that's going to be a Legion loss in our first episode. But leave a comment down below and let me know which unit you think was the battle MVP. And of course, comment to win one of these excellent pieces of terrain by LR Tabletop. We'll announce the winner on our Fallout Fridays live stream during our Fallout 2D20 campaign on Friday, March 25th. And we're also going to be raising money to help the people of Ukraine during that live stream. So if you can, follow the link in the description down below and donate there and join us on that live stream for the winning announcement and to help us raise some humanitarian funds.
Thank you so much for watching this first episode of Battle Report Breakdowns Season 2. We'll be back in just a couple weeks with the next matchup. If you enjoyed this battle, then hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to WGNR and consider heading on over to our Patreon page where you can become a Chosen One level donor. At that level, you get double entry into future WGNR giveaways. You can become a named character in a future battle report, not unlike this one. And you also get access to exclusive voting rights and polls, which help me choose the decision of content here on the channel. The force lists in this battle and the forces were chosen by our Patreon viewers there. So if you want to have your say on what kind of battles you see here on the channel, then head on over to Patreon and consider donating today. So thank you so much for watching again and stay tuned because as always, WGNR will be back.